Clubhouse is a new app and it's all the rage. In this video, we'll give you a walkthrough tutorial on how to use it and take advantage of its exciting features. If you're new around here, I'm Phil, and on this channel, I share practical advice to build your brand, Instagram, Clubhouse, Squarespace, Canva. These are all things that I talk about. Consider subscribing for more videos just like this one and hit that bell to be notified when I post next. I've got a whole bunch of freebies as well on my website, eBooks, checklists, and more to grow your brand. Link below. Now let's talk about the topic at hand, how to use the Clubhouse app. I'm in Playa del Carmen and just last week my dear friend Giselle Ugardi was on my podcast Brand Therapy to give my co-host and I, my co-host Lauren and I, a walkthrough of this app and know that we go into more detail in that podcast episode, a walkthrough, also a discussion about the pros, the cons, hidden features, and even strategy. If that sounds interesting to you, take a listen. I've linked to that episode down below. I asked Giselle in particular for a tour of Clubhouse because we spoke about Clubhouse just a few weeks ago. I told her initially I wasn't a huge fan of the app. At first, she said she wasn't either, but two weeks and over 8,000 followers later, imagine that in just two weeks, Listen, listen to this, what she has to say about it now. I was already overwhelmed by social media. I did not want to have anything to do with it. And now my biggest regret is not jumping on sooner because it has become my favorite way to create meaningful connections, have valuable conversations. And I am on it so much that I uh, am ashamed to say I purchased a second iPhone so that I can have it on in the background. Imagine a dedicated iPhone just for Clubhouse, quite a turnaround, which made me even more intrigued to hop on this platform myself. And I'll tell you, I'm there, and if you wanna connect, at Phil Palin, and I must say, now that I've given the app a chance, I think there is potential for me to get hooked. Anyways, now I wanna share the walkthrough with you, and Giselle's gonna do this for us. It's only a few minutes long. Let's watch together. When you first log into Clubhouse, your main feed is referred to as your hallway. So anytime you hear people refer to the hallway, that's what they're talking about. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is pick a profile picture, ideally of your face. I choose to have a bold background color because sometimes there are a lot of people and a lot of speakers in a room. And so if you have something in your profile that is differentiating, whether it is a border or a background color or words, it will let people know who is speaking if perhaps they can't instantly tell based off of the, the little ring that appears around your avatar when you're speaking. Um, what I would recommend doing is follow anywhere from 25 to 100 people to begin with. You don't want to do it all at once because you don't want the app to freeze up on you, but simply so that it can start to get a sense of perhaps the types of conversations that you would be interested in. And also if you actually have friends on the app who you would look forward to sharing rooms with, some of you I know are like, I don't want to be in the same rooms as my coworkers. Totally cool. Don't follow your coworkers. It is fine. And then make sure that you fill out your bio as thoroughly as you can and in bullet form so that it's easy on the eyes. A lot of people use emojis here. The first three lines are going to be the most important because that shows up as the preview text when people are either looking for your profile or if say you raise your hand in a room, the moderator might look to see a little bit about who you are and what you're about. So some people actually switch out those first three lines every time they walk into a different room, but that's not at all necessary, totally up to you, but that's just a little quick trip. Um, your bio is also utilized in terms of search. So when you're searching for someone on the app, you can also search by some of those keywords, not just necessarily by their first or their last name. So if you have conversation topics that you like to talk about, interests, specialties, then consider that when you're creating your bio. You also want to make sure that you have at least your Instagram or your Twitter connected because there's no way to message inside of the app. The only way to communicate is through voice. And if you're sharing the stage with someone, otherwise you're not able to connect and you want to take your relationships online, offline, hopefully. So make sure even if you don't remember your password, it's worth digging it up so that people are able to connect with you offline, especially if you want to use this as a business tool. Once you actually get into a conversation, like the one that's appearing up on this screen, that is what is referred to as a room. So people will refer to the room a lot that that's simply referring to the conversation, the space, the room is always split into 
three different categories. Either it can be private. So just between you and whoever you invite. So right now, currently Lauren, Phil and I are in a room. It can be um, based off of social. So who any of the moderators follow, the moderators are the one who they start the room. They have the controls to say who is in, who is out. They can also give people that privilege and it's marked by a little green asterisk. And then there's public. So anybody can come no matter where they are, they can join the room. The room itself is also split into three different categories. So up top, you have the stage. So that is where Lauren and I currently are. If you're looking at the screen, we're on stage. That means that we have microphone access. Anytime that you are brought on stage in a room, the first thing you want to do is the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. You want to tap your microphone because it's the opposite of Zoom, where automatically your microphone will be hot. So you want to make sure that you tap that microphone, especially if you're doing something in or around your house that might make a lot of noise, or maybe you're on the toilet. I've totally been there. The first thing you want to do is make sure to mute that microphone. Also, anytime that you're not speaking, you want to mute that microphone as well. Beneath the stage, you'll see a section called followed by the speakers, which will show all of the people in the room who are followed by the speakers. Because currently right now the application is entirely referral based and run by influence, it simply shows who is connected to those who are on stage. And then beneath that is everybody else. And the goal is to pull everybody else up because we want to create meaningful connections on this platform. A couple of just little tiny things. For the first week that you're on Clubhouse, you'll have a little party hat in the lower left-hand profile uh, section of your profile picture on the screen. That simply lets people know that you're new to the app and you've been on for less than a week. You'll also potentially see people blinking their microphones when they're up on stage. That is not technical difficulties. That is actually simply a noiseless signature of applause, laughter, or agreement. So I've actually found that I've been on the app so much that I'll be on a Zoom call or on a real phone call and I'll want to hit mute on mute. And I'm like, wait, no, I'm not on Clubhouse. They can't see what I'm doing. This is so stupid. So Lauren's blinking her microphone right now. You can also raise your hand. So Phil, since you're currently in the audience, if you want to raise your hand right now, which is just tapping the little hand thing, you'll hear that little noise. I can invite you up as a speaker. The first thing you want to do is mute yourself. And then there you are on the stage. Something that not a lot hello, of people hello, know hello. too is on the, hello, hello, hello. look at you, you're doing it. You're doing it. You're making it happen. Phil loves the stage. Um, on the top right-hand corner of every single room is this little icon with a piece of paper and the right corner folded over. Those are the clubhouse community guidelines. It's a great way to let people reminder of the rules and such, but it also gives you tips on being a better contributor, speaker, and moderator. So I always recommend that even if you've been on the platform for a while, go take a look at the community guidelines so that that way you get a refresh on why we're here and how we can make this place better. But then also on the bottom left-hand corner, there's a little sign, it's like a little peace out sign. At any point in time, if you want to hop from room to room, you can. You don't have to say goodbye. You don't have to make a big announcement. It's not rude. Um, people know that you're busy. People know that your attention span might be short and you want to get the most value that you possibly can. So you can always leave if you want to, and that is more than okay. But yeah, this is, uh, that's like the, the very basics of Clubhouse in terms of the functionality and how it works. Okay, we'll pause there since she's covered a fair bit in a short amount of time. The hallway rooms, profile photos, muting your mic, clapping for applause, community guidelines, leaving quietly, and so much more. That's a great little gist of the app and a great tour. Thank you for that, Giselle. As I mentioned, we go into more detail in the podcast episode. Giselle tells us a great story about Clubhouse being the first place she's ever slid into someone's DMs romantically. It's so good. Um, we haven't covered everything in this video. It's in the episode, but now you know the basics. And I'd love to turn the mic over now to you. Are you on Clubhouse yet? If so, put your username in the comments below so we can find you. What do you think of it so far? Do you like the app? I'd love to hear more about your experience. Tell me in the comments below, which I keep an eye on and respond to personally. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe for more videos just like this one where I talk about Clubhouse, Instagram, and many other branding and social media topics. Next, I'll share a few videos that I think you'll like. I'm Phil. Thanks for watching. Those videos are coming up next. Thank you.